welcome to starting up. We'd like to begin by thanking all of you for wishing us on our 100th episode. This week we come to you from the Mother Earth store here in Mumbai. Over the last decade, we've seen a flurry of activity in the technology tools for education space. A good role model there actually is Educom. In fact, a bunch of startups are hoping to emulate its success and develop their own niche products. Rani Desai tracks the trend for us. Technology over the last decade has taken some giant leaps. And for those of you who thought that most of these leaps resulted in cool gadgets and a lot of entertainment, think again. The use of technology has large potential within the education space as well to aid learning, save time and to add a richer teaching experience. Anand Lunia, formerly a successful entrepreneur in the education space, has reason to believe so. People are now more open to consuming content. You know, uh, you are already watching movies, you are interacting with friends, you are buying tickets online. So eventually, why not learning? The other thing is that the, the, the good quality of teaching largely will come from good quality teacher or good quality material. Right? Not too many, too many teachers. You know, the best teachers are, are very few. You know. And you suddenly can't have lots of experienced teachers. Sales is a big challenge because you are you are not just selling, you are also educating. When you go and sell a technology product, you don't say, you know what, this is my product, this is better than others, please buy it. You would just say, this is how e-learning works, this is how it will be better than classroom training. So you have to do a lot of education. Arpit, the founder of Cerosoft, another startup in the education technology space, has tried to meet this challenge by tying up with nine channel partners, not just in India, but across the globe. The startup serves as an enterprise platform for colleges to streamline processes and learning. It takes care of all the processes right from the day the student joins to the day the student graduates and everything in the middle. So you have pre-admission which uh, involves prospecting new students you have admission activities, then you have course management, mark sheet management. So that's how you know everyone involved in the institute, right from the officers for accounting, library, inventory, to the teachers, to the students and the administrators, everyone is a part of this. Like many others in the space, the startup uses both a software as a service model and a licensing model to reach out to its clients.